Hello, hi there, Aquarius. I do hope that you all well. Welcome to my channel. My name is Bella, and most people know me as Bella, the Secret Psychic. This is your monthly horoscope, your love horoscope for June 2019. If you'd like to know more about me and my services, all the links are just down below. So, Aquarius, I think that I've been finding very similar to Leo's, even though you're completely different air types, or should I say, part, you know, um, element types, that you've had a very similar kind of start of the year in terms of like things have been a bit stagnant, boring very independent very self-assured you know there's bonuses to it but lacking some action maybe when it comes to your love life things and, and maybe that's not a bad thing particularly if you're in a long-term relationship it's just been like plodding along um for some of you you've been quite happy to be single as well but things do start to shift this month and again very similar to leo's quite unexpectedly now for you guys you've got a really weird one so the interest is like it starts out with you feeling like you have to firstly make a choice between your new love interest and your friendships but also that you feel like you have to defend your choice to family and friends or to somebody so and this seems to happen the first couple of weeks your love life certainly you definitely your love life definitely goes from naught to 100 quite quickly so bear this in mind Oh, this is really complicated so i'm going to i'm going to talk to you as if you're single right now and then i'm going to try to weave in the elements that could apply if you're in a relationship but basically some of you feel like you have um a, you you start dating and you have more than one choice but there's this one particular choice that stands out more than the others and they are very very different from what you've normally dated before so this could be culturally, this could be their skin colour, this could be maybe you're trying, you know, the same sex orientation. Whatever it is, it is different from what you've done before, but maybe borderline controversial to your circumstances, to your, you know, your social environment. Because even though there are other choices around you that would fit the mould, maybe you've been there before this person i don't know part of the excitement is because they are different in one way but so very similar to you in another and so you choose that because they just shine in your eyes and then they make you shine as a result some of you i get you do choose people where there is a cultural difference because I do get people that with you know with overseas kind of flavour coming through and um, um, or they you know for some of you it could be that they are literally travelling through maybe you've got with a traveller and in your society the, your community doesn't you know like that because of maybe you know like some of the stereotypes that you have with lots of different things I don't know whatever the circumstances is is it does feel mostly a cultural thing so this could be cultural skin colour or religious also as to partly why others in a very quick succession since uh, you know succession seems to be up in arms about your choices and you feeling like you want to say to them hello we live in 2019 what's your problem <laughs> or this is my choice or i didn't know you had that feeling or perhaps you do know you have that feeling and perhaps some of you have made that choice because part of the excitement is about breaking that rule is breaking that that thing whatever this is whew, it feels very very much like the first couple of weeks you meet somebody you make a choice about this person quite quickly for all the right reasons but then as soon as you do and you're like hi let me meet you know please meet joe and maybe joe is a six foot transvestite <laughs> and all your friends are just like no <laughs> you can't do that or you know, maybe you're you're black and you're going out with somebody white for the first time and your black friends are like, no, <laughs> maybe you're Catholic and you're going out with somebody who's Muslim and your family are like, no, whatever this is. I'm just giving examples. It seems to really upset others around him. And it could be also, because I'm trying, I'm thinking of, you know, what I, I call them extreme examples, but really they're not extreme, but they seem to be extreme to other people. Um, it could be as simple as, you are getting with a married man or a married woman and therefore the judgment is because you're with somebody and 
it's breaking a relationship up. There is a judgment, whatever it is on your set of circumstances, that comes really quick. So like you meet them, you made the decision, and then boom, you know, it goes into chaos. So you go from, you know, stagnant, boring, not a lot's happening, to you're finally with somebody, or there's finally improvements in your existing relationship. And then as soon as you're happy, others don't seem to be. And then you get unhappy because they're not happy for you. So, again, you could be in a long term relationship and maybe you like somebody else outside of your relationship. You go off. That could be the reason. Could also be that maybe you're introducing something new and exotic and spicy into your existing relationship, which other people think are a bit weird or don't agree to. You know, maybe you're deciding that with your husband or your wife, you're going to go into an open relationship and then your friends and family are going to be outraged because how could you do that? It's, do you see what I mean? There's something <laughs> that rocks the boat, upsets people. They want to have an opinion about it. And you're like, why can you not just be happy with me? I'm happy about this decision. Why can't you be? It goes from boring to very interesting very quickly in this month, guys. So you're going to have to let me know. <laughs> what's happening what 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 your choice was that was so you know so risky so so much um you know i have to say it certainly seems to bring some excitement the trouble is is where i get a lot of people quite quite suddenly muddying the water it does get you to in the th third week in particular because they're not stopping they're going on about it that it get, does get you to judge your own decisions um and about whether you can trust your intuition or something or trust your choice, because it feels like what other people are saying is 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 getting to you to the point where you're just like, are they maybe they're right? I'll give you an example actually. Long time ago I had a friend, friend stroke work colleague actually, who went on holiday for a week, came back, and um when they did come back, I noticed that because they were Asian, they had like all you know, the drawings on your hand when you just go for, for a wedding. And I was like, oh, did you go to a wedding? And she said, yeah, mine. And I was like, what? I didn't know you were with somebody. And she said, no, I wasn't. We met <laughs> like four days before she went on holiday and they decided to get married. So they'd known each other less than two weeks. And we thought we needed to intervene. <laughs> at the time because it was like because there was more to it I have to say in terms of who she married and it did turn out that we were all right in the end but it was just because it was so impulsive and so surprising that we all kind of slightly ganged up on her which I hate to admit but that's the feeling and, and so it comes from I guess a place of everyone trying to be protective or or and they are stuck in their own kind of rigid kind of um viewpoint um but it does seem to seep in on you now with the same example i just gave you that friend didn't listen and that was their prerogative absolutely not to listen and to do their own thing and to put in the work themselves regardless of what other people say and i have to say regardless of what your choice is it's an experience it's definitely for a reason there's no indication at all that anything about it is bad other than the only thing that's bad that seems is the, pe the way that other people are interfering in what's happened. And they're almost implying, but it's totally up to you to not allow the voices of family and friend to put you off. That as with all relationships, there's a matter about the the the, dish, the differences skin color culture wise social conditioning whatever with hard work it can work well and if you allow those people to muddy your mind when you've just got into something happy who's to whose benefit is that really for do you know what i mean because this this makes you happy right now so why not take it right now and it can only go sour if you and the other person make it sour not because other people make it sour to get me but there is a bit of pressure um 
I don't know, like I feel sorry for you a little bit because I do feel here because the other dilemma that you have for you is that I don't get you necessarily ha being able to convince other people who seem to be putting this pressure on you that they are writing you are wrong, which means you might have to be forced into a position where you are having to, having to detach yourself from some of those connections temporarily in order to enjoy your love life. You guys this month go from naught to zero pretty darn quickly. <laughs> it's quite scary. <laughs> from nothing to lots happening based on one small choice you make over your love life that seems to worry or scare or people you know want to judge you over and you have to be the decision maker on that is the is the ultimate message and but just to be aware that you have these conflicts that go with it i truly hope that helps you my dear <laughs> aquariuses and um i will be back again next month with another reading for you um, if you'd like to know, like I said, more or what a personal reading, maybe yours has got complicated, then do let me know. Anyway, I'll be back again next month and you all take care now. All right. Bye bye.